Hazrat Aisha radiyallahu anha, the Prophet's wife, states that she submitted to Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. O Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, have you ever faced a day harder than the day of Ahad? He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, I have got much persecution from your people and the severest of the sufferings was which I experienced on the day of Aqaba when I presented myself to Ibn Abd Yalil ben Abd Kalal, invited him to Islam but he did not accept it which I wished. So I came back gloomy from Taib and I felt relieved when I reached Karne Salab, a valley near Makkah Mukarramah. Suddenly I raised my head and saw a patch of cloud overshadowing me. When I looked up, I saw Gabriel salam in it. He called to me and said, Undoubtedly Allah Jalla Jalaluhu has heard the talk of your people and what they replied to you. And Allah Jalla Jalaluhu has dispatched to you the angel of mountains so that you may command him about these people what you wish. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Then the angel of mountains called me and saluted me. He then submitted, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Allah jalla jalaluhu has heard the reply of your people. And I am the angel of mountains and your Lord jalla jalaluhu has sent me to you so that you may command me what you will. And if you wish, I will join these two mountains between which they are. So they will be got ground between them. Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Rather, I hope Allah Jalla Jalaluhu will bring forth from their loins the people who will worship Allah Jalla Jalaluhu alone, associating no partner with him. Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 4629.